Okay, children. Moving on to the second video of the topic. Now, in the first video, we have covered uh, principal clause or main clause or independent clause. So, there are three names for that clause. Then the second type of clause is the subordinate clause or dependent clause. Now, from the meaning itself of these uh, terms of these uh, words itself, we can understand depending it is depending on another part of the sentence to get the full information or subordinate a part of the whole. Now, the third clause that we are going to be learning about is nothing but coordinating clause. Coordinating means then the two or three are you know they are joining together and something is there that is holding them all together and they, they can be coordinated only if both of them are at the same level. Nobody is higher, not one of them is higher or not one of them is lower. Both of them stand at the same level, both of them have got the equal importance. Okay. So, now here there are two or more main clauses which are combined together by a conjunction called coordinating conjunction. So, now here see what is happening now there could be two or more main clauses that are combined together by a conjunction. Now, remember this what is that which is holding them together? by a conjunction and that is called a coordinating conjunction ok. Now, each clause in such a sentence is of equal importance and can stand on its own. So, that is another they are independent they can stand on its own only thing in so you know having a big long trail of sentence we are joining them together and making them you know uh, uh, to sound better. Such clauses are called coordinating, I don't know it is a spelling mistake here it is not classes. Clauses are called coordinating clauses. So, now remember here you have got you know two or more main clauses that are you know all combined together by a conjunction which is called a coordinating conjunction and they all all have equal importance ok and can stand on its own ok children. So, that is what it is with coordinating. Now, look at the sentence here the way was long and the night was cool take only the first part here this part the way was long does it make complete sense the way was long the night was cool. Does it make complete sense? Yes. So, two independent are you know combined together or joined together by a conjunction. Okay. So, if you go by the definition the way was long it is an independent clause here this is also independent and in each independent clause what are the conditions that has to be satisfied they have to have a subject and they have a verb. So, the way was long. So, the way is a subject was becomes your verb. Now, in the second independent one the night was cool hmm? the night is your subject was becomes your verb and then these are you know joined together are joined together by your conjunction and what are they that is called as the coordinating conjunction ok. Now, also make a note children that you know here have you noticed something what I have circled in blue like the way was long comma and the night was cool. So, now here I have put a comma here now especially when you are doing what do you say coordinating uh, clauses you will notice that you have to put a comma then you put in your coordinating conjunction and then you write the remaining of your independent clauses ok. So, first you put a comma now see what I have written there you have to put a comma after the first independent clause followed by the coordinating conjunction and then 
you can add on the other independent clauses that is how you should be writing it in your when you have to you know uh, what you say uh, given a number of clauses and you have to uh, connect them with a coordinating conjunction do not forget you have to be you have to put a comma followed by the coordinating conjunction and then you will go about uh, completing the sentence. Now, here I have got given you some extra exercises. Now, rewrite the following into a single sentence using suitable conjunctions. Okay. Now, your conjunctions means it should be because we are only doing this thing it should be the coordinating conjunction not any conjunction the coordinating conjunctions. Okay. So, copy this a uh, few sentences into your notebook. I will just solve the first one for you. So, then you will get an idea as to how I will uh, uh, you will you know get the answers for the uh, remaining ones. Sorry. Now, here uh, I uh, first one is I am a teacher my wife is a lawyer. How will you uh, orally and uh, some of you can even give me the answer I am a teacher and my wife is a lawyer. She tried to lift the suitcase, the suitcase was too heavy. So, now here how will you rewrite it as a single sentence using the co coordinating conjunction? I will just solve one of them. Uh, so, then you will have an idea as to how to go about writing it. Now, I will solve the third one. He did not have enough money, uh, he did not have enough cash, he paid by credit card. How will you rewrite this? And into a single sentence you will write that you will say that he did not have enough cash comma because he did not have enough cash is independent by itself. Now, you are going to put in the coordinating conjunction. So, he paid by credit. Okay? So, this is how you will be doing this exercise. Now, I will show you can copy down the next sentence also. We can take a bus to the museum full stop we can just walk there. Next one you have got then she dropped a phone on the floor it broke. Then Sixth one, I am not very hungry, I will just have an orange. All these sentences have to be copied into your notebook and you will be writing the answers below it. You should study harder, full stop, you will fail the exam. Next one, we like to buy a car, full stop, we can't afford one right now. Then next one, ninth one, I told my roommate to turn down the TV, he did not. I got up and left. Now, remember there are three independent classes here and join it with care use using suitable what do you say conjunction. Now, after you write down these nine sentences, write the answers of all these sentences and then we will move on to another extra exercise that we have I have given here. A uh, part of these are actually there in your textbook on page uh, on page 52 uh, exercise A all those sentences also I have you know combined here and uh, I have all together I think so there are around uh, uh, 15 to 16 sentences. So, now here if you look here you can't come in while we are having dinner. Okay. Now, in this what you have to do this exercise is totally different than the other extra exercises what we are doing. Now, in this you have to you know identify the main clause, the subordinate clause and the coordinate clauses in the following sentence. Now, children when you are underlining especially you now when you are underlining you have to be you know extra careful. So, I would suggest that you know after each sentence you leave at least two or three lines then what you can do is when you are writing your answers you can write it like this you can't come in you can't come in while we are having lunch. So, now here when you want you can you know write here uh, what could be the uh, type of answer this is 
it is you can't come in while we are having lunch. So, here you can write you know main clause and you can write how much is your main clause you can't come in then you have to identify the second part also. So, subordinate subordinate clause it will be while we are having so now what happens here children is it is you know clear which where it is where now use the paint brush carefully as I showed you now what happens if you tend to you know keep underlining sometimes you know, you're underlining you will go on underlining and sometimes it may you know go into the next one Anu bought the pencils and, and I bought the pens now what happens is sometimes you are underlining you may not do it properly like for example I am just showing this as an example it, it is not the correct answer you know you may underline it like this way during the exams I bought the and then the other one no, instead of you know starting from somewhere you may you know put an underline like this way now when the teacher looks like this way uh, especially during the exam she cannot understand what is which clause here now if you mention it like they say the main clause is this much the main this and then after that you write you know main clause and then subordinate clause so now what happens is sometimes your answer could be partly correct but because your underlining is not very you know proper you may stand to lose marks so you know children please be careful when you are you know uh, uh, doing it like this way so that's why i told it is better you write it like this anu bought the pencils and then next one i wanted to watch a movie but my brother wanted was keen to watch the play then mary had a nice basket full of toys next one keep on writing all these sentences into your notebook Mary had a nice basket full of toys. The car had a puncture, so I reached office late. Next one, there is only one person who can clear my doubt. Or you can make it doubts. Who can clear my doubts? Then, next one, that night he could not sleep. Ninth one, he was not thinking of his job he was thinking of his health after that the tenth sentence is i don't know what date it is today eleventh one when we drank this water each of us fell sick twelfth one he asked his robot to cancel his appointments for the day and then you have got the next one I had called on you last evening but you had gone out then 14th one nobody was sure how long the cold wave would continue 15th one if you permit we would like to continue the work and finally the last one all the scientists who have helped to develop the missile deserve credit so, I want all these sentences written into your notebooks. After each sentence, try to leave at least two lines so that now you are able to write very, very clearly which is the main clause and which is the subordinate clause or which are the coordinating clauses for that. Okay? So, now with this, we come to the end of this lesson clauses. And uh, we finish with this lesson and kindly do not forget to or do these exercises into your notebooks and we will be having the discussion of these answers in the Google Meet.